Well, let's get your forecast here because a cold night out there tonight. We have 4029 meteorologist Robert Sir joining us. Just the start of an up and down week though, right? Yes, uh, we're kind of neutral right now. We're going to start to head up and then plunge right back down the uh, loop to loop of temperatures as we go through the uh, through the work week here. We'll take you outside to Fayetteville right now on this March 7th, just a few days before daylight saving time begins. Remember, it's saving. There's no S. That's a very common mistake that uh, I even see it on calendars. It says daylight savings, and that is incorrect. 41 today in Fayetteville, 17 degrees shy of your average, average, which is 58 for this time of the year. Fort Smith is all lit up tonight. You can see a couple of stars out there, 46 as well. Uh, in Fort Smith today, well below your average, which is 63 uh, for this time of for this date. Uh, temperatures, as I said, will start to rise starting tomorrow by a little bit. We'll be up near 60 in northwest Arkansas by Thursday, probably the best day of the week. And then a sharp plunge in our temperatures for Friday and even Saturday. It looks like a pretty chilly weekend on tap and potentially a white weekend. Some of you might be shoveling out 65 or the mid to upper 60s in the River Valley uh, by the time we get to Thursday and then much colder weather rolls in here with the potential for some wintry weather, which I'll touch on here in a second. Right now across northwest Arkansas, we're mostly in the 30s. Garfield, good evening to our friends there. Uh, Garfield, Pea Ridge, Gateway, probably all in the upper 20s uh, at this hour. River Valley, we're mostly in the mid 30s. Now, under a thick deck of clouds, despite this area of high pressure, it's going to kind of meander its way to our north over the next uh, 12 hours or so. It's going to take until tomorrow night for us to start to get some breaks in the clouds, not buying any of these showers for tomorrow. I think the model's a little aggressive with how far north that precip to our south gets. Breaks in the clouds by tomorrow evening, and then mostly clear skies waking up Wednesday morning. It won't last because then our attention turns to this bad boy here for Friday that may bring us another shot of accumulating snowfall. Looks mainly like a snowmaker if it happens at all. Models are diverging all over the place. So you're gonna wanna check back on that Friday system to see if it materializes or not. Lows tonight mostly in the 20s and 30s across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley and will bounce back tomorrow. Not much 40s and 50s. Now as we get into the extended forecast here. The only bad day of the uh, seven day is Friday when we could possibly possibly see that snow. It could accumulate several inches and we spring ahead as we get into Friday and Saturday. And then about the same thing here, Brandon and Jordan, we have that snow for Friday and then we lose an hour of sleep Saturday into Sunday. You know, the good thing yeah. about no matter what the weather does over the next few weeks, it should not impact March Madness because Bingo. basketball is played That's indoors. Right. That's, right. <laughs> That's right. We're getting our brackets ready. Yeah. We're pumped. Hogs deep run this year. I'm gonna deep, deep, permanent deep marker. Run. I was, yeah. I was a, a Sharpie. <laughs> Yeah. We'll play charades Jordan later. doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> Only a Sharpie Short for that practice. That's right. right. All the way. Um, yeah, Hardwood Hog getting ready. But first, they have to take it to the SEC, SEC tournament. SEC tournament, yeah. So they're headed south to Florida. But we're also talking track tonight. The Arkansas men and women, and where they stand in the rankings ahead of the NCAA championships. That's coming up next in your Hog Wild Report. Stay with us.